Hi there, I'm Alan from Genus Motorcycles and today we'll be talking about the new for 2022 Al Varsen's Narin Jacket. This is Al Varsen's Narin Jacket. The jacket is a lightweight two-layer full-stretch laminated jacket which offers good safety and good ventilation which is also a double a rated jacket high arch reinforcement is featured on this jacket in areas such as the shoulder and the elbow example of the high arch reinforcement which is level 2 certified is presented just on there for you the jacket also features Alvarsen's Outlast Regulating Liner, which is a fixed liner on this jacket compared to other jackets in their range, which can be unzipped. Not to forget, the Alvarsen's Narin jacket is also airbag compatible due to its expanding panels. So this does allow you to use any airbag that you may have. The jacket offers six areas for direct ventilation. That includes two on the arms, two on the chest, and two on the back. The two ventilation zips on the arms offer ventilation from the wrist area all the way up to the armpit area. It can be opened two different ways, either from the armpit to the wrist or from the wrist to the armpit. The two ventilation zips on the chest, as demonstrated, open quite widely. These two ventilation zips located on the rear of the jacket, which are waterproofly zipped to keep all the water out of them. Two outer pockets are located on the outside for external storage. One inner pocket, again, which is waterproofly zipped, just on there, again, just on the zip there. Nice and wide to store anything else you need in there. Two storm colours are provided with the jacket. One in a neon or fluorescent yellow and one in a plain black. To attach these collars onto the jacket is quite simple. The storm collar has got three magnetic pads just at the back. Line them up to the jacket and you'll literally just feel them clip on just like that. They're attached. Obviously the same thing again to remove, just pull them apart and pull them away. Same again goes for the black one as well. The jacket only has one area for adjustment on the waist and that's just there on Velcro on one side along with the other. As we spoke about before, Outlast temperature regulating liner is a fixed liner on the inside of the jacket, which obviously either cools you down or warms you up depending on the outside conditions. Two pockets on either side of the jacket for the chest protectors to be inserted into. Main compartment there, which will allow you to fit Alvarsen's back protector into, which we'll just show to you in just a minute, along with a full 360 degree zip to allow for jacket to pants fastening system. And as we spoke about before, this will be Alvarsen's back protector, which would be inserted into the jacket. This back protector does come in various sizes as well, so just be careful when making your purchase which size back protector you do go for. The jacket does come in at £479, only comes in the black colour from sizes 48 European to size 64 European. So that in UK sizes would be 38 to 54 UK size. The fit around the arms and the waist, just helping with the um, adjustable wrist and waist straps, pulling it in nice and neatly, just gave me a nice snug fit 
depending again what you're going to have underneath you might need to loosen or um or pull them in a little bit tighter again depending how thick your gloves are but there again i've been using more or less my summer gore-tex gloves so these are the type of gore-tex gloves without the thermal liner inside so you just feel like a summer glove the main thing as well that grabbed my attention with the jacket when i first got it is the fact it's airbag compatible so i own a alpine star tech air 5 and obviously having that expandability for when the airbag goes off is a nice thing to have obviously alpine star do recommend you have five centimeters of room this jacket's definitely got that room and the fact that it's got the expanding panels and the fact that it's a lightweight two layer stretch laminate jacket does help with the expandability of when the airbag does go off when it comes to wearing the jacket all i do is i just run my alpine star tech air 5 so that means i don't have to wear any back protector or any chest protector i just run the airbag underneath i've kept my shoulders and elbow pads in other than that i just wear it on top underneath the jacket and that's me when it comes to the outlast liner i've been riding in hot and cold conditions just as we've noticed in the past two to three months first time wearing the jacket the liner just made me feel nice and cool didn't sweat at all under it i was absolutely astonished by the way the technology works especially having come from other jackets with standard liners that you have to take out every so often with all the days i've used this jacket i felt absolutely comfortable within the liner a few of you might not know how outlast works so let me tell you a bit about it Outlast was originally developed for NASA astronauts. It utilizes phase change materials which absorb, store and release heat for optimal thermal comfort. Think of it as being an ice in a drink. When it changes from a solid to a liquid, it absorbs the heat and keeps the drink nice and cool. It's the best thing we've ever come across in motorcycle equipment ever since the pin lock. When it comes to the waterproofing of the jacket, thanks to its dry weight 2.0 laminated functional membrane, and the durable water repellent treatment on the jacket i was able to stay dry in the rainy conditions as you can see in some of the videos that have been attached onto the video clips which are actually scenes of me riding in some very heavy rain that's it for the alvarsons now in jacket the alvarsons lycan pants will follow in the next following video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and thank you very much for watching